Welcome to Golf Life, a show dedicated to your golf lifestyle. Hey everyone, and welcome to the 23rd season of Golf Life. As always, I'm Colt, that's Alyssa. Alyssa, 2022, what are you most excited about for the new season? Well, I'm excited about a lot, but even though it's a new year, I still have the same goal. I am trying to break 80. How about yourself? For me, I just want to get out on the course as much as I possibly can. We have a fantastic show for you to kick off the 2022 season. We talk to a lot of guests and learn more about their golf lives. That's right. I go one-on-one -on -one with model and fellow lady who's newer to the game, Reed Terezi. And then I check in on my good friend, Eileen Kelly. Who'd you talk to? I talked to the very talented Amy Cho. We get an inside look at the journey of finding a new instructor. But first, we go one-on-one -on -one with the legendary Lieutenant Colonel Dan Rooney of Folds of Honor. Hey, joining us here on Golf Life is a very special guest. He needs no introduction, but I'll try to do my best. Lieutenant Colonel Dan Rooney. He's a motivational speaker. He's the CEO and founder of Folds of Honor. He's a golf course founder. He's a fighter pilot in the Air Force, and he is an author. Appreciate you joining us, uh, Lieutenant Colonel. Uh, give us an update on Folds of Honor, where we're at right now, and what we see in the pipeline coming soon. Yeah, so it, it has been a record year for us, thanks to all the great patriots across this country. We will send 7,000 spouses and children to school who've had someone killed or disabled defending our freedoms. That's like $35 million out the door this fall. All 50 states across this great nation. And we're really proud to 91 cents of every dollar raised this year went directly to fund scholarship programs. So we understand that freedom is not free. And so when we ask people to make a donation at foldsofhonor.org, know that it is making a difference, changing someone's life, but also saying thank you to the half a percent of this country that wake up every morning saying, man, I'm willing to die for this country and our freedoms and to protect uh, life and liberty as we know it. Talk to me about American Dunes golf course founder like yourself what does that represent well i mean it's so it's a golf church and if there's one word that i would use to describe american dudes it's it's reverent and you know i, I threw a hail mary pass literally four plus years ago went down had a meeting with my boyhood hero jack nicholas i said jack would you build a golf course on the site of where folds of honor started you know, it's our little family golf course called the Grand Haven Golf Club on the shores of Lake Michigan. And uh, he said, Dan, I, I love that crazy idea. I'm in and I will waive my $3 million fee. What makes this place unique? There's so many different stories, right? Uh, obviously, Jack built an extraordinary golf course, which will, I guarantee, take its place in the top 1% of golf courses in this country. It's public. Um, so it's available to, to everybody, but it is built for a cause, right? And built to raise money and awareness for Fold. So everybody that came on board was like, hey, let's build a golf course that raises substantial funds for the Folds of Honor mission. This place unapologetically celebrates God, country, and golf in that order. With your long list of accolades, you're also an author. Fly Into the Wind is actually your second book. What does that represent and what is it all about? Yeah, well, it's all in the title, Fly Into the Wind. I fly one of the most powerful jets in the world, but we still take off into the wind because we need that resistance to ascend. And the message in this book is, man, our lives are no different, right? The common denominator of humanity is we're all going to struggle. Uh, but these struggles aren't meant to keep you down. They're, they're meant to raise you up. And when you can understand that and become a problem solver, um, it's a, it's like a light switch uh, in, in your life and in fly into the wind I outline my code of living which are 10 things that I do every day without fail and this book is about prioritizing the fire hose of life that we're all drinking from right we're all super busy overtasked and really distilling it down to who you are as an individual and are you living a life that is congruent to what you say matters and what is important and making an installment each and every day to become the person you know you could, you should be. And obviously some great golf stories, some great fighter pilot stories um, in there. And you know, my hope and prayer for this book is that young people especially uh, find this and uh, it provides them a vector 
on living a life of impact and, and finding fulfillment in their lives. Lieutenant Colonel, really appreciate you joining us, taking time out of your busy schedule. Uh, appreciate everything, and we'll talk to you soon. Yeah, God bless, and it is so fun to be on this walk. Uh, we've been together for, for years, and we'll keep fighting the good fight together and bringing positive energy uh, to this world and uh, praying for our country and, and you guys as well. The Fat Scooters are one of the safest vehicles to ride on the golf course. We talked to some golf course executives to get their thoughts on safety for their members. I've worked in the golf space now for about 20 years, uh, the public space, and we have golf accidents with the carts, unfortunately. They're periodically, almost all, you know, all, all the time. Every year we'll have a few of these. Um, so we were already accustomed to sort of some potential issue to happen. So when we looked in the fat scooters and the solo riding vehicles like these, we certainly were concerned with the liability issue. But ever since we brought them in, you know, the accidents have been far less with those than they have been with traditional golf carts. So I think it's because people take, you know, they're not, you know, they're being smart with them. We're training them how to use them before they go out. And as long as you kind of play with the landscape, then the accidents are going to be far and few between. So we haven't had those issues and we, we kind of were cognizant of them, but we're not too worried about them at all. I would think if you could determine, hey, let's not go over a certain speed, you know, maybe don't put it in the bike mode, but only keep it in golf mode, that will help the safety. Um, I think a little training here in our staging area before a member took it out for the first time would be uh, something to help. But I think, honestly, by the first hole, you've probably got it figured out pretty well where your balance is and how to uh, work the throttle and the brakes and, and the steering. We've actually even had some of our members out trying it, some of, the, you know, some of our senior members, and right away after about 10 seconds of going straight, they were able to uh, you know, ride it around and they felt pretty safe about it. So uh, we do think it'll appeal to a, to a, a broader uh, age of our membership, even uh, towards the senior age. When we return, Alyssa sits down with a great friend and model, Bree Terezi, to learn more about her golf life. And I chat with Amy Cho. Don't go anywhere. Golfers, do you suffer from constantly buying new golf gloves? All the time. Does your golf glove get sweaty, crusty, or torn? Over and over again. Well, the innovative new claw glove might be for you. The claw will outlast, play cooler, and grip better than traditional leather gloves. Side effects may include more greens hit, big payouts from your buddies, and in some cases, shooting your lowest round. I have the power to lower my score with claw glove. Go to clawglove.com and see if claw glove is right for you. Golf Life is giving away a Sinlon Dave Pell's Green Maker this month. You've seen Dave Pell's amazing backyard built by Sinlon with Shot Stopper Synthetic Turf. Now you can have your very own Sinlon putting green. Simply visit us at golflife.com and click on our Sinlon Green Maker giveaway. There are multiple ways to enter by sharing on social media and with friends and family. So go grab your phone and enter now at golflife.com and get your chance to win a Sinlon putting green from Golf Life. I am so excited to have one of my friends and a lady that is newer to the game of golf with me here, Bree Terezi. Welcome to Golf Life. We're so happy to have you for an interview. Hi, Alyssa. Thank you so much for having me today. I'm excited to be on the show. Absolutely, of course. So tell me how you got into the game of golf because when did you start? Okay, so it's kind of a funny story. So I've been golfing for now one year and my background is in modeling and during COVID, I was back home in Northern California, and one of my friends who's a photographer wanted me to do this photo shoot with him, and it was gonna be around golf. And I thought to him, I said, why would I do this? I, I don't golf at all. And he's like, no, trust me, it's gonna be really fun. So I showed up to the golf course, and we did this little photo shoot, and during the shoot, I was like, well, I don't wanna be a fake golfer, I wanna actually learn. I want you to teach me. He's a really good golfer. So from that day on, I've been golfing nearly every day. That's so cool. So happy one year anniversary. Welcome. Uh, what have you, what have you seen, like what's been the most fun and then what's been the most challenging? Okay. So the most fun is definitely meeting so many people. I mean, golf has changed my life. It, it's really been incredible. And the hardest thing about golf, I would say, is definitely learning that golf is not easy. You cannot expect to become a professional golfer in a month. It looks easy and I've learned to love the challenge of golf. And even when I think I'm getting good at something, then 
I realize I'm like, wait, nope, now I can't hit this club. Or so it's just, I love the challenge of golf and just realizing that it's really about the journey of your game and having fun. Okay, Bree, so are you down for a little bit of rapid fire? Yes, let's go for it. Okay, here we go. Favorite club in the bag? Driver. Okay, I like that. Dream foursome? Donald J. Trump, Tiger Woods, Jack Nicklaus. Favorite golf clothing brand? Lucky in Love. And last but not least, 19th whole drink? I don't really drink, so I would probably go with soda. I would say Coca-Cola. Bree, thank you so much for coming on the show. We loved having you. I am excited for the world to hear your story with the game of golf. Thank you so much, guys. Bree Therese. Thank you. Joining us here on Golf Life is a former professional golfer turned broadcaster, instructor, digital creator, Amy Cho. Amy, appreciate you joining us. Tell us about your journey in golf. Where did it all get started? I obviously started golf at a very young age and I started uh, competing and playing on tour, played college of golf as well. And then um, I had a slight back injury several times that ended my career really early and that's when I jumped into like the instructor side of golf. Fast forward to today, now you are you have a website, mpswing.com. What is that all about? I know that MP means something special. Tell us about it. Yes, MP Swing is actually short for, wait for this, <laughs> Myeongpum Swing. Myeongpum Swing is my Korean nickname um, and it means like a world-class golf swing, like a exquisite golf swing. It's kind of weird saying that myself, but um, <laughs> I got that nickname because a lot of uh, people thought my swing was very pretty, so uh, they started calling me that, and I first got that nickname when I started doing TV golf lessons in the LA area when I first moved out here. Um, so I stuck to that, and that kind of became a part of my brand, so my website became npswing.com. What makes it unique is that you produce two different versions of the video, one in English and one in Korean. Talk about that. Yeah, you know, when I did the TV golf lessons in LA, um, I actually ended up getting quite a big fan base in the local area. And uh, when I ended the TV golf lessons, they, you know, they kept emailing me. They wanted more golf lessons with, from me and they wanted me to start a YouTube channel. And I was like, you know, I was trying to ignore the emails until, you know, it got too many. I was like, finally, I have to start a YouTube channel. And then um, I knew I had quite a big fan base um, who spoke Korean. And then I based in LA. So I obviously felt like I had to take advantage of my bilingual skills and do the identical golf lesson in English as well. Well, you've been in golf for a long time. When People talk about the growth of golf. What are you most excited about? You know, when I first started my YouTube channel, there really weren't that many young golfers or female golfers at the time. That was only like six, seven years ago. And now it has grown so much that we have a lot more younger golfers, a lot more female golfers. So I'm really, really excited about that. And since the pandemic, even more golfers have, you know, started picking up the sport. And I'm just like, Super, super excited for this growth. What's in the pipeline uh, in the future for Amy Cho? So far this year, I've been hired as a Korean reporter for the PGA Tour. So I've been going to a lot of golf, different golf tournament sites when you know no one's really allowed on site. So it's, though that has been special. I've worked with like the Golf Channel. Well, Amy, I appreciate you joining us. Definitely looking for you in the future. Um, all the big things that you're doing. So thank you for joining us. Thank you, Colton, for having me. Next on Golf Life, we dive into V1 Sports, then we head out to Madera's Golf Club to get a lesson from Udi Jimenez. That's next. For over 15 years, Bat Caddy has been providing electric push carts and technology that inspire golfers of all levels to walk rather than ride. The Bat Caddy XAR is no different. Featuring a fully directional remote control, you'll walk like a pro and connect to your game with every step. The XAR checks all the boxes with nine forward and reverse speeds, downhill speed control, and an oversized dual anti-tip wheel for maximum ease of use and stability. With configurations under 30 pounds and an all-metal construction, 
The XAR makes setup and ease, resulting in the most reliable and user-friendly electric golf caddy on the market. Since 2004, Bat Caddy has been spearheading the movement of walking and golf in North America, championing the health benefits while eliminating excuses with reliable and affordable technology meant for every golfer. Feel better and play better golf with the XAR by Bat Caddy, the electric golf caddy that works for everyone. Don't go anywhere because we're on the back nine with Golf Life when we return. Michael Breed shows us one of his favorite drills to do to get more shaft lean and rotation in the golf swing using the V1 Sports Pro video analysis software. This drill is, I'm telling you, my favorite because it solves so many different problems. So I, I videotaped a swing, and what I want you to pay attention to here is where this ball position is. Now, this ball position is clearly outside of my lead foot. And the reason for that is, is that I'm trying to invite a forward movement of the body, a carrying of the angle between the arm and the club shaft, a maintaining of that angle and incorporating that or marrying that with a body rotation. And so what happens when you do this drill is in order for you to hit the ball solidly, you got to do so many things properly. And what it does too is it gets your body weight forward towards the target so that you finish in a nice balanced position. So we'll take this up to the top of the swing. So I'm up here. Let's go back just a little bit. There, there you go. So there's my there's the back of my head at the top of the swing. Now, and I'm going to draw a line right up on the top here. Okay. Now watch what happens when this when this moves forward. The body is going forward and down. So many of you were coming out of the shot. So many of you were losing that spine angle. You're, you're, you're coming into the ball. The hips are working underneath the shoulders. This will take care of that, that for you. This is one of the reasons why I love this drill. Now watch how I continue to drop down. You can see the lead shoulder is low and now moving around. See how it's moving around there? So the body is opening. I'm still getting the head to drop down. Look at how much I've moved forward and down. One of the, the really important parts of being a great iron player is not hanging back, but actually going forward and down. So now I come into this shot. Look at the angle retention between the forearm and the club shaft. Fantastic right there. I'm going to erase all that. Hands are now outside or almost outside of the shoulder and the, and the thigh. This would be typically a six iron is going to be just slightly forward of center. Look at how much shaft lean that I'm going to have in that shaft right there. Look at that. That's, that's an inordinate amount of shaft lean. Now, obviously, we don't want that much. But for those of you that are getting rid of the, that energy too soon, this is a wonderful drill for that. Now, at the strike, the shaft of the golf club is outside of the hip. The body has moved forward. So here's where I am. I'm just going to draw a line there and there. That's where I am at, at impact. Here's where I am at the top of the swing. So the, the head is now forward and down. I'm telling you, this one here is going to improve your game. The V1 Game and V1 Golf app are two free mobile apps that you can use to improve your golf game. To learn more about the V1 softwares and how they can help you better your game for 2022, go to v1sports.com or download them at the App Store. From the Madeiras Golf Club, here's head golf pro, Udi Jimenez. Hi everyone, Udi Jimenez, head golf professional here at Madeiras Golf Club in San Diego, California. We found ourselves here on a little 15 yard, 10 to 15 yard uphill chip. And one of the most important things with this shot is to make sure our setup is correct. One thing that you'll find people do often on this shot is they put too much weight on this back foot. And it's easy to do because gravity tends to push us this way. A nice thought to make sure you stay in balance and to help us execute this shot is going to be to make sure we set our wedge correctly. This grip end is always gonna be at our sternum. But most importantly here, we're gonna just get a little flex in this knee here. That's gonna make sure we push into this hill. Make sure the bounce is exposed. We don't want that leading edge exposed. So the club is gonna set on the ground with the grip pointing at your chest or sternum, and it's gonna look something like this. In review, guys, we wanna make sure we keep this left knee bent. It's gonna help us stay balanced into this shot. Remember, gravity is pushing us this way on this hill. Keep that left knee bent, 
and you'll be able to execute this shot nicely. Hey, here's a special offer from Golf Life. Would you like to try the Claw Glove and save 15% plus free shipping? Head over to clawglove.com and use the code Golf Life right now, and you'll save 15% and get free shipping. Head over there now. On the other side, Alyssa chats with her good friend Eileen Kelly to learn more about her golf life. And Tim Conaway joins us from Florida to give us some insight on finding a new instructor. Bring the power of practice to your backyard, office, or home with Almost Golf. Voted the number one practice ball on the market, these ultimate off-course balls are perfect for those looking to better their iron play or their short game. The Almost Golf Practice Pack is perfect for the whole family. The Almost Golf Practice Pack includes one inflatable target, one detachable flag, and 24 golf balls. Head over to almostgolf.com right now and start improving your game. I'm so excited to have my good friend and excellent golfer here with me today, Eileen Kelly. Thank you so much for joining us. Thanks so much for having me. It's amazing to be here and to be back in beautiful San Diego. Yes, I am so happy to have you back here, but why don't you give me a little bit of background on how you got started in golf? Not how I, my dad would have wanted. Uh, he tried to encourage me when I was really young, uh, but I didn't listen. I thought golf was dumb. And it wasn't until I was a bit older and had finished my ballet career that I realized that golf had a lot of similarities in training. And I really appreciated how much drive, determination, and dedication uh, it took to become a good golfer. And that's when I fell in love with it. Uh, I played my first golf tournament when I was 20. and performed quite well actually and got a scholarship to uh, the University of British Columbia in Vancouver, Canada. You've always been extremely supportive of me and helping me along the way. I'm obviously newer to golf and you've kind of seen my game evolve and develop and have always been patient and still play with me so thank you for that. Um, and I just like where do you see the game going for, for women? Well, you know what, with the space of social media, I'm so grateful that that's kind of become a thing where golf is, for females, have grown a lot. There's a lot more interest for females to play. Uh, and it used to, you know, it was a concern when I first started playing that the game was kind of going to fizzle out. And I think with you, with myself, and how we've all kind of used this space with social media and so many other amazing girls, um, that it's been such a great way to see golf grow for females. Uh, so it's not just you play competitively. There's recreational and there's you know we can look cute and we yeah. can go out and have a great time and yeah. support one another and Absolutely. I really love that. So what do you think is one of the best ways for females to get involved in the game? Uh, so I would say finding a great local golf course and finding a women's clinic. Uh, whether it's a junior clinic, a late, whatever it is, um, there's been definitely an influx of now women's clinics coming out and it's a great space for other females who are around the same skill set to get involved in playing with each other and just realize that Golf is a frustrating game, it can be, but it's so rewarding once you just kind of put some time in. And if you get some great instruction, then it makes such a difference. And I absolutely yeah. agree, because yeah. that's kind of where I started from. Uh, getting the basics and the mechanics down very early on, I think, has provided me a lot of confidence to be able to get out there with players like you, where I can sort of hold my own yeah. and get around the golf course and whatnot. So it's a great way to make new friends and meet new people. I've met a ton of people in the industry uh, and then in my personal life through golf, which has been great. So I'm looking forward to so many more rounds with you. I'm so happy to have you as a guest on Golf Life, and we're so grateful that you're here. Now let's chat with Tim Conaway about the journey of finding a new instructor for new or experienced golfers. Hey, joining us here from the beautiful state of Florida is Tim Conaway. He's the lead instructor at the Conaway Golf Academy. Tim, appreciate you joining us. Give us an idea of what's going on down there at the Academy. Hey, Colton, thanks for having me on the show. Uh, at the Academy right now, we're, we're gearing up for our winter season, which is the busiest time of the year. Uh, the weather down here is gorgeous. It's the mid seventies all day. Um, so we're gearing up for a busy season. We're here to take care of our clients and get them to enjoy the game better and, and play better golf. Is somebody who's newer to the game or even somebody who's pretty serious about the game, what advice would you give to find an instructor like yourself? Uh, I think they need to do their due diligence in selecting their coach, um, and that means seeing several before they make the final selection. Um, the the coach-student relationship is exactly that. It's a relationship, and if you're not comfortable with the person you're with, you're not going to want to learn from them. So seek out multiple opinions before you, you make a selection. You've been around the game for a long time. What is one common mistake or consistent mistake 
do you see amateurs do when they first get to an instructor like yourself? Uh, by far, it's, it's how they set up for the golf ball. Um, you know, there's a lot of bad information out there about keeping your head down, watching the club at the golf ball that will then cause, will compromise how they set up. And, and that's the first thing I look at, the first thing I change, and it makes a massive influence in their ability to swing the club efficiently when they have proper posture. Where can people find out more about Tim Conaway, your staff, and the academy down there in Florida? Well, ConawayGolf.com is the academy's website. It has all of our information as well as our coaches' uh, information on there. Uh, I also have a, a Conaway Golf Academy app, a mobile application, um, and that's where all my free video content, swing tips and drills are available as well as online lessons. Appreciate you joining us. We're going to have to make a trip out to beautiful Florida, meet you and see you out there at the academy. So I appreciate you joining us. Thanks. I'd love to have you. My pleasure. Thank you very much. Thanks for watching Golf Life. Be sure to visit us at golflife.com for more golf content and check us out on social media for daily videos and reviews. And we'll see you next round.